The answer is yes. All my PCs got an FPS boost, but it came with some side effects. This is FPS Inspect, where we look at different tweaks and settings to see if they really make a positive impact. Topic for this video is related to disabling full screen optimization. It's done through the compatibility tab when selecting the executable file of CSGO. This one. It's a pretty popular tweak online. Even Skadoodle made a comment about it. The idea of disabling full screen optimization comes from how Windows 10 works. Taken from Microsoft's blog post, Windows 10 takes full screen mode and actually runs it in a optimized borderless windowed mode. Bastards, it's not even the real deal. It's supposed to make things like alt tabbing faster while still looking like that full screen exclusive mode as it is called. So naturally, disabling full screen optimization is tempting for perhaps a lot of people who are using Windows 10 and would like to squeeze out a few extra frames per second. Now, I did just that and here are my results. Disabling full screen optimization did in fact improve my performance across the board. My streaming PC really liked it in the middle section for the 1% club. While this may seem impressive, we're talking roughly 7 FPS on a machine with a 7700K. My wife's PC, which is the lowest tier with the 5.4%, that's three additional FPS. This being in the 0.1% means it's a very positive performance boost in terms of stability and getting those slow frames up to speed. Another tweak that came up was something called high DPI scaling override and setting it to application. When going this deep with settings, it starts to become a bit too hardcore for me. I really can't say how this affects anything. I'm not even sure what it does. I tried puzzling it together, but the closest I could get was this reply on a PUBG thread when asked what it does. I guess this will have to do. It seemed to have a positive effect back then for PUBG. I've also seen people say that it's not enough to just disable full screen optimization. You also need this DPI scaling override option enabled. That's the only way you'll get an FPS boost. But as you guys saw, that has not been true for me. Either way, it was worth trying out and see what would happen. So I disabled full screen optimization and enabled the DPI option as well. Now this actually made a small difference to the performance, but overall it is still positive. A couple numbers went down, but the 0.1% for the streaming PC climbed all the way up to 1.6%. So remember in the beginning when I mentioned side effects? Well, not really side effects, but you get it. Apparently when I alt tab with full screen optimization disabled, it messes with my in-game brightness. It's like trying to decide if it wants to be full screen or window mode. It's really annoying when it happens. Small stuff like that are 100% deal breakers for me. Another thing I experienced was black screen pauses between alt tabbing, which could last up to half a second. So basically alt tabbing was not as instant as it is with full screen optimization enabled. So that makes the choice easy for me. I am not going to play with full screen optimization disabled, even though it did help improve performance. What about input lag? I would have liked to use an LDAT for this, but they only give them out to special people and I am not special enough. Another way of benchmarking is by simply looking at how well I played. I can do this with Jesper's latest aim map. It's got all the practices I need to get a large enough sample size. I focused on practices which needed a lot of mouse movement. Now this took a lot of time, but it's safe to say that performance wise, it had no significant impact on my performance. And to be clear, I'm not talking about PC performance. I've seen people say that it affects the mouse, making it feel different, but I haven't experienced this at all. So I've answered the question. Yes, it did boost my FPS, but as always, in rare cases, the opposite could happen for you. Do your own benchmarks to be sure that it works well. Speaking of working, sure, it works, but I still have the brightness changing now and then, and alt tabbing is slower because of the black screen pauses. I will not be using these settings. Stay awesome, guys, and go bananas.